Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Um, just finished another one up in the shop. Uh, for those of you wondering why I'm posting so many so quickly, I've had a whole bunch just laying around in the shop that are about, you know, three quarters to 90% finished. And I've just decided I'm going to make an effort to get them all finished up and put out there for anybody who either wants to trade them or I'll use them or buy them, whatever. But anyway, this was a Magpie Ergo I started some time back. It's got a quarter inch core with blue and white chip Corian. For those of you who don't know what Corian is, Corian is the material these days that's used a lot on countertops. If you don't do granite, you usually end up with Corian. It's kind of a resinous plastic style material. Anyway, blue with black and white flex in it. Um, now, I've started doing something different. I used to polish these up to a shine, and but you know what? The first time you use it, scratches started showing up on it, and it was just, you, you know how it is. You got something so polished and nice, the scratches just kind of stick out like a sore thumb. It's like a new scratch on your cell phone screen, you know, the first scratch. So the other day I was doing something with aluminum and I'd gotten it to 100 grit and I just kind of laid it on the counter and my daughter went, ooh, daddy, that slingshot has bling on it. And what it was is if you look, the oscillating sander leaves a real interesting finish on it. Well... You know, that was only 100 grit, so I went all the way down to 300 grit on this one, and it just didn't look right. It just didn't look as good. It was kind of dull. It was smooth. So I I went back to the 100 grit on the face of this. And I mean, I got to say, I really like it. And the best part, you don't want to scratch up this. That's fine. You just throw it anywhere. It can get scratched up. Who cares? right on the aluminum surface because it's already scratchy but i mean i really like the finish i gotta say i like it better than the shiny myself for those who don't know a magpie ergo is held like this okay you can either wrap the bands around and shoot it through the fork or wrap the bands over the top and do it over the top um it's very comfortable for just about any size hand unless you're super tiny hands like wearing small or extra small gloves but other than that it, it's a comfortable shooter for a large hand and a comfortable shooter for a medium sized hand and it's just because Mr. Magpie did a great job in designing these curves so that they just kinda sit the width is down here the forks are a little pushed up so that he could squeeze in here a little better and it's outstanding design anyway this one's finished up. I haven't decided whether I'll auction it or sell it or trade it. But anyway, if anybody's interested, you know where to find me.